Thursday Thunder. Scott, how are you? First thing I'd like to just apologise, the audio on this might be a little bit different from our previous videos because I'm using a different camera and I didn't have an external microphone. So hopefully you can pick us up all right. So we are Thursday the 19th of March and boy, has life changed since last week? Very much so. Day by day thing. Yeah. Isn't it unreal? So obviously um, the COVID-19 or corona, corona virus is a huge thing. So um, I'll, I will touch on that. I think we need to touch on that in that, especially with um, everyone being so concerned slash panicking some people, we just want to advise that gyms are fine. Uh, and even in the government statement yesterday, they said gyms are fine and uh, urged everyone to stay in their own normal health and fitness routine. Because I think it's important that people keep up with their health and fitness routine, especially for mental health. I know that a lot of my training is based uh, on mental health and if I train, I feel so much better, uh, whether I'm doing cardio or weight. So, Keep that up and we rest assured that all the facilities and uh, fitness centres have most probably tripled their cleaning regime, uh, which we have here at Australian Muscle the Gym. We were always known that we had a really good clean facility, but we are really just uh, have up that and um, we're desanitising the equipment a minimum of twice a day. We've got uh, hand wipes in the gym where you can then do your own desanitising. Uh, and the place is being kept spotless. So I urge everyone to keep training at your local gym, keep supporting your local gym. It's important that we keep businesses running because many businesses will suffer and are suffering already. So I think it's important uh, that you keep your local businesses running, keep your local gym running. Uh, if you are really concerned and you do want to put your membership on hold, Look, can I suggest that you just don't come to the gym, keep your membership going for a little while, you know, and just help support that gym. If everyone turns around, puts their membership on hold or cancels, well, we're going to see a, just a massive amount of gyms close and go under. And that's no good. It's no good for the industry, and it's no good for you guys when you're training. So just consider that. Um, if you've been loyal to your gym for a while, how about you back them up and just you know, if you're concerned about coming to the gym, stay away for a couple of weeks, but don't don't put your membership in a hold or cancel. Just help these guys out, help everyone out, uh, so that our economy doesn't go down the toilet. Um, I'm just going to read this to you quickly. This is an update from uh, Fitness Australia this morning. It was actually this morning. So um, I'll just quickly read this to you. So maintaining our physical and mental health during these worrying times is significantly important. As an industry, the role we can play in ensuring people feel safe to continue to be active during these unprecedented circumstances is vital. Fitness Australia is currently advocating for gyms to be considered essential services due to their important role, regular and consistent exercise has on an individual's immune system and their overall physical and mental health. While it is important to keep people active, it is also imperative that we continue to show leadership and ensure all facilities are implementing self-distancing measures and robust hygiene practices to ensure the continued safety of more than 4 million gym members across Australia. Pretty well what I was just saying, that everyone is keeping uh, their cleanliness up to pat as um, standards. Uh, Scott Morrison actually stated in his statement yesterday that gyms, indoor fitness centres and swimming pools do not need to close at this time as long as they follow distancing advice and have good cleaning routines in place. So, it goes on a little bit more about this uh, cleanliness, uh, about the 100 person limit, etc. Uh, which doesn't apply to a lot of boutique gyms, but it might to your gym, so just keep an eye on that. Because that's gone. <laughs> well, yeah, look, um, at the moment they've got no plans on going into a lockdown, and I think if they did, the Australian economy would collapse, so uh, I can't see that happening. But 
things are changing, what's happened since we last filmed last week to what's happened this week in the terms of distance would be like from here to the moon. Yeah, massive changes. Um, are you worried about training? Um, not so much training, just being able to get food, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, food is the issue, isn't it? Um, I'll just quickly touch on a few things that I've, I've researched regarding this virus. In that, in South Australia, as of yesterday morning, there was 32 cases. Now, out of those 32 cases, 30 of those people brought that virus into the country with them on holiday. The other two person-to-person -person transfers were one of those people then when they came home infected a family. Yeah. So what, what everyone needs to realise is that you're not going to get this virus by just walking out in the street um, or even like going to the gym, etc. Because all of those people are contained, uh, any new cases that come up, they're still contained. The case numbers in South Australia are very low, less than 10 per day. Um, but like I said, that can always change. You know? um, so just keep all those little things in mind. Keep your personal hygiene well. If you are anyway feeling ill, don't go to the gym. It's as simple as that. You know? uh, we are screening everyone here, asking them how they're feeling. Um, so look, really, just stay away. Uh, always bring a towel, bring a big towel. Uh, check out um, my video on the Australian Muscle Gym page. Uh, me and Scott did a video yesterday. If you don't know how to use a towel, there's a pretty detailed explanation there on how to use a towel. Um, the shops are up and running as per normal. Uh, if you can't find a lot of chicken and meat, well make sure you have a lot of protein powder on there. <laughs> Keep your protein up. I know everyone's stockpiling on all these carbohydrate type formulas but um, you need to keep your protein up. So the you know, shelf life in a protein powder is two years. So there you go, better than two weeks for a chicken breast. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, in terms of cancellations, uh, regarding this bodybuilding industry, did you see the IFBB cancel all of their pro shows? Uh, for, yeah, up until I think up until end, end of, or beginning of, end, I think it's end of June because, um, Aaron Pilates was doing the Indie Pro, and I think that's in June, and that was cancelled. Oh, right. Yeah, but what they did announce yesterday was that the Mr. Olympia is still on. Um, someone brought up a point which I saw, which I thought was interesting. They're going to have to change the qualifying rules yeah, for this year. That, that's did you see that as well? Uh, that, that just popped into my head as, yeah. as you said that. The yeah. Qualification yeah. standards will have to change. They're going to have to change them. They're going to have to change them, and they most probably will change them for the, uh, we could call them season B, you know, the after June shows if they go ahead, yeah. they're most probably up that maybe the top three will qualify. Yeah. Um, and it wouldn't yeah. surprise me, yeah, or it wouldn't surprise me that they upped the Mr. Olympia. The Mr. Olympia automatic qualification is top five, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So the uh, top ten, top top ten, ten most probably. probably. So the, that's what it used to be years ago. Like years ago when, when I was, you know, the Mr. Olympia, the top 10 from every previous Olympia went over qualified automatically for the following year. But they didn't have as many pro shows back then, so that's fair enough. So yeah, they'll have to do things like that. Um, now ICN, we run the ICN in here in South Australia. So the ICN show has not been cancelled. Uh, I want to stress that out to everyone, it hasn't been cancelled, but it has been post um, it's been postponed to June the 14th, so another six weeks. Uh, the ICN, uh, we are hoping that by June uh, the mass ban will be lifted uh, and things will be sort of getting back to normal. Uh, based on other countries, um, June the 14th is 10 weeks away, based on other countries and how they've recovered, uh, we're hoping that the same will happen so that the June the 14th show will be still on. Um, 
Posing classes are still running uh, and Esther and Janelle will be applying some of the government guidelines where they will be keeping a little bit more distance between the people and don't forget the facilities that they kept at uh, Esther's and here at the gym are nice and clean so uh, rest assured you can keep your posing practices up and those are still unchanged and will now continue right up until that June 14th date. That's it. <laughs> I think that's enough. Um, in terms of business-wise, yeah, support your local businesses. Support your local cafes, your burger bars, your pizza bars, um, and even your pub. You know, go there for a meal. Most pubs have implicated in, uh, put into place all those distancing rules. They put tables further apart and everything. We need to keep supporting our local businesses uh, with our su supplement stores. Keep keep training, keep buying your supplements and keep supporting your local store. I think this is very, very important and every other local business that you go to. Keep that up and uh, we will get through this and uh, come out on the other side. Slightly beat, beat up, but I'm sure we'll, we'll recover from that. Um, in terms of what's happening in the stores, uh, we've had no, we haven't had much new. Uh, we keep talking about the uh, Magic Nutrition products. Uh, there was a hold up, and um, we haven't received them yet. But as this video goes out, it most probably will be back. Will be in stock. I know I said that last time, but this time um, I'm 90% sure. So we'll leave it at that. So thanks, everyone. Support your local stores, support your local gyms, keep training, stay strong, and we'll catch you next week. Thanks, Scott. I know I did all the talking, but I feel like a fool if nobody's sitting next to me. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys next week, and hopefully we'll have a little bit more news uh, and um, more industry-related news rather than... Hopefully some more positive news. More positive news, exactly right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.